Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give out praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakakwadash. I'm going to want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. Noise in this gospel, bro. Lift them to stand in the behind by Shimmy Howard Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is a, another lesson through the spirit titled Totalitarian Nightmare. UN launches a gay funded global ID program. And this goes in par with the dream or vision slash dream I had. Um, I say visions, I say dreams because, you know, you know, a lot of times, man, you don't want to give offense, which it shouldn't really be no offenses and, you know, that, but um, offense into, you know, make it seem like the Lord is just dealing exclusively with you. I say dreams out of humility, but a vision is a vision, you know, and then sometimes you have to be able to discern whether it's a dream or a vision, which dreams and visions go hand in hand simultaneously under most regards, depending on the severity and the context of the dream, okay? If it's a consistent played out like a movie, point by point, tip for tie, the nine times out of 10, that's a vision. Dreams are more broken up into fragmented pieces of information throughout a day or a period of time, and you're jumping around. That's usually your dreams, but then again, visions can occur that way as well. Um, over the years, Lord has have given me visions of, of end time events, as with a lot of brothers as well. But um, I feel like the Lord is really speaking to brothers because this is the time we're getting ready to go into. OK, um, and he's warning the people, he's warning us, he's warning these people and we have to warn them. You even have uh, regular people in the world that have visions and dreams of the coming uh, totalitarian system. So when you look up the word totalitarian which goes into like a, a harsh rule, okay? It says here, a political system which holds total austerity or a form of government and political system that prohibits all opposition parties, outlaws, individual groups, opposition to states and their claims, okay? Meaning that it's gonna be an authoritarian, uh, authoritarian, how can I say, a authoritarian state or, 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 author, or authority or authoritative state it's kind of a tongue twister, okay? And this is what they're getting ready to uh, implement in the West, okay? This is why you have all these attacks. Like, I believe you had something in uh, Vegas. They claim this has been six years since that last Vegas shooting, which I remember, I think the last Vegas attack went back into 2017. 2017, I believe, because let me see, 18, 19, 21, 22, 23. I think it was like 2017 when they was getting ready to... Uh, 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 I think that's the last shooting that took place in Vegas. And I actually know that because I was actually on a flight to Vegas. Well, getting ready to go to the airport to go to Vegas. But they canceled the flight because it was an alleged active shooter. So we had to go elsewhere, which, you know, it is what it is. But nonetheless, um, this is why you have all these attacks, you know, all these so-called plans to foil government uh, disruptions. Like allegedly they came out and stated that there may be like 100 or 200 something soldiers that's trying to overthrow the U.S. regime. And Esau was throwing out these particular talking points and these opposing points because he needs to be justified on putting everybody under mass scrutiny. OK, nobody's in, in out to get um, th this government. I mean, you have nations that's really against this place. But ain't nobody coming over here to, to, to do any particular harm. They already it, it's their own people. OK, and the people that they are allegedly that they're accusing of doing harm is because they set these people up and they're letting them over here, man. Okay, that's what that boils down to. Ain't nobody didn't some regular Arab coming over here flying planes and decided to, to, to do some damage to you. No, man, this is all inside shit. Same thing about with the Pentagon back in 2011 and found out that was like a Tomahawk missile or something that hit that place. Wasn't no goddamn, you know what, wasn't no uh, P-L-A-N-E. You see, but this is why they need this system up because they have to create scenarios in order to drag the people into oblivion. <laughs> you know, and this guy Kill Gates, it's basically he's a he's a front man. Okay, the, the elites are using him as a fall guy, they're putting his name on it. But trust me, this guy ain't come up with this whole system himself. He's just a salesperson of it. You know, he's been educated on it. They've told him what to say, he has handlers, and they're telling him what to say. Okay. But it says here, uh, it says the United Nations developed program, the UNDP, said in its 50 and 50 campaign would spur the construction of our underlying network of components. 
It says, including digital payments, which we're seeing at IDs and data exchange system. It says, which will serve as a critical accelerator of the sustainable development goals. It says, um, the UNDP, the goal of the campaign for is 50 countries to have designed, implemented, and scaled at least one DPI component in a safe, inclusive, and interpolable manner in five years. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight. That's 2028, 20, which I pray he don't have that long. But it says, uh, the defender reports critic of the campaign, including the editor of the sociable told the defender he believes the DPI is a mechanism for, for surveillance and control that combines digital IDs, which is going to be in the form of the micro CHIP, central bank digital currencies, which is the CBDC, which will be contained in the CHIP, juice passports, okay, and um, it says, and a carbon footprinting tracking data, <laughs> paving the way for 15 minutes smart cities, future lockdowns and systems of social credit. So all this is basically digital slavery. OK, from a carbon footprint tracking, meaning that, you know, they're going to track your emissions. OK, to the point I was um, looking at a video and the brother was going into how they have a congestion tax, which is going to cost people like up to fifteen dollars a day for compact vehicles. And I believe like trucks and so forth, commercial vehicles, maybe twenty four bucks a day, something to that regard. But we're showing you here that they're getting ready to, to, to implement this new world order, man. OK, that you're not going to have any freedom. You're not going to have any freedom to think. You're not going to be able to go as you please. Everything that you buy, everything that you invest in will be tracked, monitored, and limited. Okay? Hence the social credit system. Um, I was reading uh, this article, and it's pretty long, but um, it goes into like a case, a caste system. You know, you have different uh, uh, class systems like class S, C, and K, using those, for example. With the upper class being K, which means they have the more benefits, they have more of a right to move around versus the S is like middle class or lower middle class, which they may be allotted a thousand credits a month to do what they have to do. You know, if they spend anything over a thousand credits, then they will be fined and penalized and ultimately restricted. And the last class, the lower class, which we fit into, you may get up to three to five hundred credits a month. So that includes your rent, that includes your light bill, gas bill, etc. Now, you ask yourself, if $500 is equivalent to $500 US dollars, rent alone is $1,000 and up. So how can we afford to do that? Well, we don't know. Well, me personally, I don't know if the credits will operate as some type of incentive or if they're going to have more purchasing power. But regardless of it, you're going to be limited into what you can do. OK, and a lot of people, are, they're, they're, they're complaining that they can't even make ends meet, man. OK, but it says here the UNDP is the leading in the 50 and 5 campaign along with the Center for Digital Public Infrastructure, which is co-development, and the Digital Public Alliance. But supporters, including GovStack and the Inter-American Development Bank and the UNICEF, in addition to the Gates Foundation. It says in September 2022, the Gates Foundation allocated $200 million to expand global digital public infrastructure as part of a broader plan to fund the $1.27 billion in health and development committees towards the goal of achieving the SDGs by 2030. But the Gates Foundation stated that at the time that the funding was intended to promote the expansion of infrastructure at low and middle income countries can use the it says can use to become more resilient to crises such as food shortages, puff health, public health threats and climate change, as well as to aid in pandemic and economic recovery, which is all bullshit, man. It says California based privacy privacy attorney Greg Claser described the 50 and 5 campaign as a totalitarian nightmare and a dystopian initiative targeting small countries to abort them with digital IDs, digital wallets, digital lawmaking, digital voting, and more. And he's absolutely right on that aspect of it, man. Okay. People are literally bugging out over this because they know that this is a way to enslave them. Why the hell do you need a digital ID or digital tracking system when you've already put people in slavery through state IDs, driver's license, tax numbers, lien numbers? You have also... Uh, what they call uh, social security numbers and birth certificates like that is not enough for you to track people, you know, but see Esau Edom, he wants to play the most high, man. And this is going to lead into a big uh, revolting against this system. OK, because. Um, let me see here, I'm kind of skimming over a little bit. It says we have seen what happens to leaders of small nations who reject international intelligence agencies, favorite products such as the you know what? GMOs, genetically modified organisms, and petrodollars. It says UN programs like 50 and 5. It says 
are a way for smaller countries to sell out early to big tech and preemptively avoid economic hit, man, he added. And we know what that's about. It says, speaking in a 50 and 5 lunch event, Dimitri Alaba, Moldova's deputy prime minister of economic development and digitization, said the source of our biggest excitement is our work on our government super app and its model after the very successful Ukrainian DIA app and will be launched in the coming few months, man. Okay, yeah, so I'm not going to read all this article. This is pretty lengthy, but you get the point. They want to put everybody part of a digital infrastructure. So uh, let's see what this guy says here. Over the next five years, we are committed to enhancing and establishing key DPI components. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, the payment system, the, uh, the digital signature, the digital identity, all of that compo all of those components are available in Moldova. They are currently being uh, uh, actually mm cool. Actually, can't even barely speak, man. But this is the people who we are in slavery to. Okay, so this is the book of John ten and ten. It's where the thief come not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. This will literally destroy people because when you're when you're uh, uh, how can I say it, or integrated or concentrated into one demographic or one particular area. Overall, people are going to start to uh, stress out and stress brings a lot of sicknesses. When you limit people's freedoms and ability to do things that's conducive to life and health, people are going to totally be in a stressed out mindset. So therefore, that will bring in more sicknesses, more frustrating, more mental illnesses. And you're going to have a revolt on your hand. This is what you're asking. You're asking people to revolt against you. OK, because now with this whole white lung nonsense coming over to the side of the world, this is exactly what they want to do. OK, it says here, for I have come that they may have life, that they may have it more abundantly, man. OK, so, hey, how was shy, man, is not with this whole global world order ordeal. OK, and this is why he's coming back to deliver his elect, because, hey, if not, man, as it tells us in the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter, and I can pull that real quick. No flesh should be saved, which is Matthew's 23. No, Matthew's 24. And I'm going to start a verses. Uh. Let's start at verses, yep, 20, 21. It says, For then should be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, no, ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, yet shall no flesh be saved before the elect's sake. Those days should be shortened. So this is why time is speeding up, because Esau has a limited amount of time that he's able to set up his new world order. So this whole 2030 agenda, that's him boldly saying look we're going to get this thing off by then when in fact the lord may give you a few short months lord's will but we have to wait and see but Job 14 and 5 it says seeing his days are determined the numbers of his months are with thee thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass okay so hey you keep telling yourself 2030 the lord may have a different plan in for you but overall brothers man this is what this devil is getting ready to do man okay this enterprise this new world order as we always go into Okay, this is the uh, the book of uh, Job 20, and I'm going to start at verses 18. It says, that which he labored for shall he restore and should not swallow it down. Okay, and that's the thing. He's labored to get this new world order by stealing, rape, robbery, murder. Okay, declaring war on nations, destabilizing sovereign nations, stealing resources. You know, and basically he sent economic hitman in the form of the U.S. military. To have his way with you when you reject his money, man. Okay? It's that, or, or if, if he realize he can't overtake you militarily, what he would do is uh, he would basically have some type of natural disaster through some type of weaponry to destabilize your infrastructure. Like, I believe, uh, what was that last year? I'm not mistaken. I don't know if that was parts of Turkey, but one place got hit with an earthquake, man. And, I mean, it was like, I'm, I'm thinking it was like a seven or something, but, hey. I believe they came there and then like a day later they got hit with a crazy earthquake because I believe they didn't accept Biden's proposal or something to team up. Something that Turkey, something happened. I can't recall it, but regardless, man, the next day they got hit with an earthquake. Okay, economic hit, man. Okay, you don't want to play ball. Same thing what happened with Gaddafi. He wasn't playing ball with that, with that central bank or with the, uh, what do you call it, the the, the the Federal Reserve or the, the not the Federal Reserve, but um the... Uh, you know, the U.S. dollar, the petrol dollar, man, the fiat currency. Like, I'm not playing games with that. And then before you know it, this nigga end up dead. So this is who we're dealing with. We're dealing with a madman, okay? It ain't no, you don't have a choice. It's you get down and lay down. Okay, choice is an illusion here in this society. Okay, like 2020, 
2021, yeah, we had the quote unquote choice, but the choice you make will come with consequences if you don't comply. And that's how this new system is going to be. Okay, he's going to force you to do it. Okay, and it says here, uh, and he should not rejoice therein, but he that oppressed and have forsaken the poor because he have violently taken away a house which he built it not. But surely he should not feel quieted in his belly. He should not save that which he desired. But it says, but there should not be none of his meat left. Therefore, should no man look for his goods. And in the fullness of his sufficiency, he should be in straits and every hand of the wicked should come upon him. Wicked goes into laborers. OK, everybody is rising up against him. This is why people are posting up outside of falafel shops, putting you small heads to flight. Because for the simple fact, everybody is realizing that you are a race of goddamn devils, man. OK, the world is waking up to that fact. If nothing else, they're waking up to that fact. And it reads, it says, and when he was about to fill his belly, the most high shall cast, or Yahweh should cast the fear of his wrath upon him, and it should rain upon him while he is eating, okay? And that's going into this digital nightmare here, okay? And this is exactly what they want to do, and this is exactly what they're attempting to do. And they're going to get so far with it, but overall, they're not going to be successful, okay? Because we know that Yahweh Shai is going to raise up a standard for his men, for his elect, okay? So that's what we have going for us in this time. But other than that, the world, they're going to get caught off guard by this, man. They see it, but they don't see it. And they're not taking heed. All right. Um, you got other Israelite groups out there that's playing games with this as well. Oh, well, we don't know what the mark of the beast is. It's, it's Christianity. It's this and this and that. You know, but this is the book of Isaiah 29. And I'm going to start at verses 9. It says, stay yourselves and wonder and cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. But they stagger, but not with strong drink. Okay, this is going into you false prophets out there. Stay, it says here, for the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes and the prophets and your rulers and the seers have recovered. That's right. Because ain't no way in hell that all this information is coming out. But you still got clowns out there telling you, oh, man, that ain't what that's talking about. That's talking about an embargo. Get the hell out of here. Bro, they're telling you straightforward. All right. But it says here. But the vision of all is becoming to you as the words of a book that is sealed with men delivered to one that is learned, saying, read this. I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sealed. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this. I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. And that's the spirit that you Israelites are coming in, man. OK, it says, wherefore, the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, they have removed their heart from me and their fear towards me is taught by the precept of men. And this is the reason why you got the mother groups teaching you that the mark of the beast is not the RFID shit. But this sets up the digital infrastructure for this very world. OK, this is why when we go to Revelation um, and I'm going to get that real quick and I end it. Revelation 13. And it says here, it says, and he had the power to give life into the image of the beast. The image is going after the ancient Roman Empire with the Senate, you know, the appellate court, the different courts, man, the tribunal courts, the monarchy, you know, uh, the political systems. It's just the same model like the Constitution is really written at the Roman law. That's all it is. And really, that was written for the monarchy for real, because it was really the one percent that assumed all the rights of those empires. OK, it wasn't the ninety nine percent. You see, this is why Esau does not uh, honor the Constitution. Okay. But anyway, uh, reading on, it says here, the image of the beast that it should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Okay. And this goes into being ostracized, being outed out of society, being chased out and ultimately a physical death. But it says, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands or in their foreheads. It says he calls them and he's going to do this through different attacks, different uh, uh, methods, OK, different tactics, uh, different uh, intimidation, bully factors, man. He's going to get people to receive this mark because he's going to scare them into submission because it's too easy to say either you want it or don't. People are going to be like, no, I'm not doing that, but he's going to scare them, I meaning he's going to put their very livelihoods on the line. He's going to do that through these particular uh, pestilence, okay, these particular mandates, the Gestapo, you know, uh, they're going to do it through weather, shit, all types of stuff they're going to promote this system through. So we're here to tell you and to warn you, but it says that no man might buy and sell, save he had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, which shows you it's going to be directly and tied to this economic system, man. All right, but uh, I'm going to just end it there, brothers, giving all praises and glory. And honor that's due to you. How about Shimi? How was shy? And with that, Lord's will you were edified. Shalom. In, in a perf, in a permanent state of uh, of evolution, 
and uh, our you know the the, sor- the source of our biggest excitement is uh, uh, our work on the on our government super app uh, it's modeled after the very successful Ukrainian D app our friends and neighbors and brothers from Ukraine and it's uh, it's been an inspiration also for for our application which will be launched in the coming uh, few months and again it's uh, the way we see it it's a one stop shop for citizen to government and business to government interaction without need of any hassle any bureaucracy any paperwork and so on because again it is the 21st century where the government is basically invisible this is our vision this is our this is what we are going towards